dawn tempts the morning sky on their last hunting day as Wayne steps up to bat. He'll either find a trophy today or go home without. Take a better look, take a better look. Well, I, I already look at them and there is one thing in big game. Things have to, if you are trying to find good things about the trophy, forget it. It's not big. They have to impress you at the, at the first sight. Boom. Good thing about our system of measure, you know, like Tom's Ibex, it's got four points per age because we measure Ibex. Of course, we measure both bases, mm -hmm. length, and then uh, three quarters mm -hmm. on the length of, of the circumference, yeah. then spread, which spread is not, it doesn't yeah. count much, but then you have one point if he's 10 years old, two points if he's 11 years really? old, three points if, if he's uh, 12 years old, four points if he's 13 years old. So yours has got between three and four points, yeah. Yeah, just for age. Yeah. And I love that, yeah. you know, that's a good, that's a good, uh, because that's just the tape, it. you know, you're missing something. Mm -hmm. It doesn't impress me. It doesn't impress me the age and it doesn't impress me the length. here now so they were just the other side of this when we saw them from across the canyon. Yes. This particular area has got lots of uh, acorn trees, live oaks, mm -hmm. so we think they're going to be eating those, those uh, nuts so they can be down here, down here, down here. It's, we're going to go through the bushes, try to make ourselves cover and be lucky always. <laughs> the group coming up, those are young ones. The one we want you to shoot is the, the last one. This, that one, that one. Oh, shoot. Okay, in a way, they move, they move up, move, come with me. Probably they'll show up in that opening, those white rocks. Just be ready. Yeah. They're gone, went over the top. Too many trees. I had him in the scope for a long time, you know, four or five seconds, which is usually long enough, but he never stopped. And if he'd stopped for a second, I was very steady. But the group of male with grandpa behind. Well, that was a rush. It was a bit of a disappointment too, because we've been hunting Ibex for several days, and that ram was by far the biggest we've seen. Now, why didn't I shoot? I had four or five seconds, which is typically plenty of time especially since I was slinged up and prone. The crosswire was very steady. The trouble was the ram was not steady. He was bouncing up the hillside and the range was about 250 yards. He and his compatriots were headed for that thick stand of oak brush up there. It's never a good idea to shoot out of desperation. A shot is a shot or it's not. It doesn't matter if that ram's the biggest you've ever seen or if it's the last day of the hunt as this is. If you have a 90% chance of killing the animal with your shot, you take it. That's my rule. If there's a better than 10% chance that you'll miss or cripple the animal, it's better to hold your fire. If you don't have the discipline to hold your fire when you see a, a trophy like that, well then you better reevaluate why you're in the woods because hunting is about a whole lot more than killing. Dear Salama, Salama, Tirana. 